Hello everybody, welcome and thank you for joining me. I'm Iona Walters, a Senior Solutions Consultant at Adobe, and I'm here today to give you an overview of what the Creative Cloud has to offer, and also to share with you the reasons why Adobe has moved its digital media business in this direction. So at Adobe, we of course recognize that today there's a real need to be able to create and interact whilst on the move. And moving between different computers and devices means that asset management and inconsistent user environments and settings are an issue. We know that teams are no longer confined to one office and effective collaboration at a distance is also a real challenge. Creatives such as yourselves have had to come up with combinations of apps and services from all different sources to try and overcome these workflow challenges because there just hasn't been a connected solution until now. And the solution that Adobe is bringing you is the Creative Cloud, where all of these things come together in one place, as well as connecting you to all the benefits of being a part of a wider creative community. Just under a year ago, we launched the first phase of the Creative Cloud, which provided Adobe's full suite of creative applications as a subscription. But more importantly, we launched the Creative Cloud as a platform for innovation. One of the core benefits for the Creative Cloud is that you're always getting something new. You no longer need to wait to get access to new features, products or services. This was part of the promise of the Creative Cloud from the very beginning and Adobe has definitely delivered on that promise. So if you take a look at all of these things that we added to the Creative Cloud in the first year, we actually added or updated something every single week. So the pace of innovation is really quite staggering. The first year has been more successful than we could have imagined with over half a million paid members and counting and well over 2 million members in total, which includes the ones who are collaborating on files and projects with a free membership. Customers love it so much because they get access to tools and services they never had before and they get the newest version of those products as soon as it's ready. So they can take their creativity in new directions, learn new skills and build their careers and businesses. It's actually only been a year since our last major desktop apps release, which was CS6. And with the release of the Creative Cloud, these products have all now been branded CC to reflect their new, more connected form. So the cloud brings you 15 brand new applications and they have hundreds of new and updated features. But it's not just about the apps, of course, as I've mentioned. You also need to be able to access your assets wherever you are and the cloud enables you to do this. You can also choose to synchronize these files with your desktop or offline environment. And in addition, you can sync your application settings and move seamlessly from machine to machine, be that keyboard shortcuts, workspaces, swatches, brushes, web fonts. So the environment you're used to working in moves with you and you can quickly pick up from where you left off. The Creative Cloud also allows you to collaborate with customers or colleagues. So you can share files, you can add comments to these files and clients can even preview the layers and pages within a document whilst it's still in its native format. For example, a PSD or an InDesign document without having the application installed on their machine. This means that your work can remain dynamic, editable, with no extra exporting. And your teams and clients can be sure to have access to the most up-to-date material with a clear, built-in, streamlined sign-off and communication workflow. And with versioning control, you can manage and access previous versions of these documents. You can even see and track comments on versions in your CC app activity stream. The Creative Cloud also enables you to join the wider creative community to get inspiration as well as feedback on work in progress. You can showcase your own personal portfolio with Adobe Behance to build your community, share and receive feedback, as well as to sell your work. Behance also enables you to easily promote your projects via popular social media channels such as LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. And in addition, you can maximize your profile using the powerful website building service ProSite, which comes as part of your Creative Cloud membership. You can customize the ProSite templates. You can attach a personal URL if you have one. You can use creative web fonts served by Typekit. You can add projects from Behance or directly from some of your Adobe desktop applications. And you can upload or embed video content. And the cost of ProSite without being a member of the Creative Cloud would actually be $99 a year. So you can really see this is a massive value added service to your membership. 
The Creative Cloud also enables you to build and publish websites, mobile sites, and of course, iPad apps by using the desktop tools in conjunction with Business Catalyst and also the digital publishing suite. So now you can easily reach your audience on all the platforms you like to in an optimized and responsive way. So now let's take a look at the Creative Cloud app, which is your portal to all of these creative applications. The CC app will be automatically installed with any of the new CC desktop apps and it's integrated with them and the Creative Cloud services. So within here, you can see now I've got a whole load of different feeds coming in. I've got my home screen, which really gives me all of the uh, latest information about what I've been doing, my activities, etc. You can see up on the top here, I've got a little prompt as well, which is telling me that I've got some updates to consider accepting. And also that somebody, my colleague here, Richard, has shared a folder with me so that we can collaborate. Again, from here, I can access all of my applications, do all of the updates that I need to do. And of course, from this files tab, I can choose to open my folder, which I've got synced locally on my desktop, or I can go straight to the creativecloud.com and view the folder structure and files online in that space. But the other great thing that you can now do as part of the cloud is to access, browse, and synchronize some of your fonts from the Typekit server to the desktop. If I just launch the uh, fonts browser now, this is taking me straight to Typekit. And you can see now I've got all of these uh, fonts that I could browse previously for my web uh, applications, but now I've also got the ability to browse the desktop uh, syncable fonts as well. So this means that any of these fonts that appear once this is selected, are able to be synchronized with my desktop and therefore available in any of my creative products to work with, for example, in design or Illustrator or Photoshop. So I can really, really make sure I'm keeping that brand consistency across all of my different outputs. So that's Typekit, that's really great. You can create your web type kits as well as usual within there. If I just jump back into my Creative Cloud desktop, area, you can see that these are the fonts that I've already synced. I can also manage my fonts from this area as well. Over here, I've got my Behance tab, which uh, gives an activity stream of all the people that I'm watching, um, all of the work that I'm appreciating, etc., uh, from the wider design community. I can also take a look at any work that I've uploaded to get feedback on, etc., and I can browse new work from within here as well. I can view my profile and I can upload projects, etc. I've got the ability within here as well to turn the file and font sync off. So as I mentioned, not only are you able to synchronize your fonts, synchronize your files, collaborate via the cloud, you've now got a really fantastic new feature to help you manage your color profiles and make sure that you can access those wherever you are on whichever device it is that you may be working with. So I'm just gonna now jump in to this cooler app for the iPhone. I've actually got the camera function working on there. So what it's doing is the camera on the phone is taking a look at all of the colors in the background which is very colorful since the Creative Cloud background is, is right there, so that's great. And what I can do then is if I'm out and about on the move and I see some colors out in the street that I want to capture, I can easily do that. I just click on this little accept button here. So let's accept that. This is called theme number 11. What I can do now is if we jump back over to cooler.com, you'll see that theme number 11 has now very handily jumped in for me so I'm able to also work with it within this area. Now, in the old days, you would be able to uh, download, which you can still do, a file exchange format, a color swatch format, so that you can then import this into your design applications, for example, Photoshop and Illustrator, and work with these colors, which of course is great. But no longer is that step needed, because if I jump over into Adobe Illustrator and take a look here, I've got my new cooler panel and this is fully integrated now with the cooler.com interface so i've got all of my existing palettes up there i'm just going to refresh this and there we go theme 11 has jumped straight in here via the creative cloud so it's syncing through my cloud workspace there so i all i had to do is make sure that i'm logged on make sure that my phone is signed in as well to my adobe.com account and this will all happen very seamlessly it's brilliant so of course I can then start working with these colors. I can add them to my swatches. And of course, the other thing is, 
I can now jump over into my preferences and I can sync my settings. I can choose all of the different elements that I want to sync. And what this will mean is that this again syncs via the Creative Cloud. And then when I come to open on my secondary machine, which may be my desktop machine in a different environment, when I come to open up Illustrator, it will prompt me and ask me if I want to have my preferences um, imported in from the cloud so that I'm set up and working in this environment. So I have all of my brushes, all of my palettes ready to go for me in the same environment that I was previously working. OK, let's take a look now at the online interface. So I've got my browser open with my Creative Cloud folders in place here. I've got a collaboration folder set up. That's something that's coming in future releases of the Creative Cloud where you'll be able to share folders and collaborate and use this as a really good workflow sign-off solution. I've also got my download center where I get hold of all of my applications, all of my services, products that we've known and loved for a long time. I've got lots of new features and products in there as well. For example, Adobe Muse and the Edge tools and services. Now I'd just like to run through some of the myths and misconceptions around the Creative Cloud just so that you're absolutely clear as to what the cloud offering is and how it can work for you. So you're not running the apps in a web browser. The desktop applications are downloaded and installed running off your hard drive just like they have always been. You don't have to be constantly connected to the internet to run your creative apps just once a month to verify that your membership is still active. You can share files with anyone for review or download. They don't need to be a Creative Cloud member. Your files are your files and they remain on your hard drive even if you decide to cancel your Creative Cloud membership. You just sync them to the Creative Cloud so that you can access them from wherever you need to and of course easily share them with other people. You're not required to install any new version of the desktop software that's available in your membership. You also have the flexibility as to when you install an upgrade if you choose to do so. You don't have to store files in the cloud and in fact IT can actually turn this functionality off. You can still purchase CS6 if you really want a perpetual license or you can buy a single app membership. And just also to be aware that within your CC offering, you have access to all of the CS6 applications as well, which you can run simultaneously to your CC app. So you've got total flexibility there. So that was a short peek into the Creative Cloud, which I'm sure you can see really has you and your creative work at its very center. It gives you access to creative applications, assets, settings, fonts and colors, team collaboration, community, an online portfolio, and also your published work. So which Creative Cloud offering is right for you? As you can see, there are different types of membership. The Creative Cloud for Teams includes everything that's included with the individual version of the Creative Cloud. So that's all the desktop apps, the services, the upgrades, the feature updates when they're released, Plus you get 100 gigabytes of storage per user as opposed to the 20 gigabytes for the individual offering. You get expert services, which amounts to two sessions per user per year. And you can actually schedule these one-on-one -on -one via phone or video conference with an expert who has a specific area of expertise. You can easily manage your virtual work group so teams can collaborate efficiently. And you've got a centralized administration tool for the quick and easy deployment of new seats, as well as centralized billing and efficient license management. We're going to take a little look at the deployment and the administration tool in a second. Creative Cloud for Enterprise goes a step further by giving large organizations access to the desktop apps and updates, but also online services for content publishing, secure file sharing and private work group collaboration and it's all packaged up in an enterprise friendly way. So the software and services can be easily deployed and managed in an enterprise environment, as well as deployment tools. So IT can actually design their own technology deployment to users across the organization. Of course, there are also discounts for students and teachers, as well as educational institutions, as well as discounts on your first year if you currently own CS3 through to CS5.5, and an even deeper discount on the first year if you currently own CS6. We also now offer plans that include just one desktop app, if that's what the user requires. So now let's take a look at how to manage and allocate licenses and products to your team members. 
The Creative Cloud Team Admin Console is an intuitive, easy to use portal where you can quickly add Creative Cloud seats, assign or transfer those seats to other users and also monitor their storage. To add seats to your Creative Cloud subscription, you simply log into the Admin Console and authorize your reseller to place the order on your behalf. Once this is done, you can assign seats to your specific users. Just enter their email address, click invite user, enter their name, and you've got the option there also to include a personal message. To save time, you can invite multiple users and you can also have your reseller assign seats on your behalf. Once you've assigned a user, they'll receive the email invitation and they need to accept this in order to start using the Creative Cloud. You can also easily reassign a seat to a new user if a member of the team leaves your organization or when a new team member joins. And this of course is particularly helpful when project teams frequently expand or decrease in size. Another key benefit is the ability to add additional admin managers to help manage the Creative Cloud subscription that you have. Admins don't count against the total number of Creative Cloud seats, but of course you can assign them a seat if required. And the final thing you can do, as I've mentioned, is to monitor your team's storage usage. Each member is allocated 100 gigabytes of cloud storage and to track how much each member is making use of, simply monitor the bar next to their name. So that's the admin console. For more information about this, visit adobe.com forward slash go forward slash cc underscore teams. There's also a Creative Cloud Packager tool. And this enables you to package the applications needed by each member of the team and to easily deploy those. There's additional videos on my website, creativesneaks.com, if you need more details as to how this process works. You can follow me on Twitter, at Creative Sneaks. And I've also got various other ways in which you can connect via Facebook and LinkedIn, etc. So I'll be able to keep you updated as and when new videos and tutorials and features come out. So I hope you found that presentation useful. Do get in touch via Twitter if you have any questions and comments and I hope to see you again soon.